Hello there, this is Maya Joy Kana, and welcome to Neptune in the third house. If you're unsure where Neptune falls in your chart, here's how you can find out. First, you'll need to gather your birth information, including your birth date, birth time, and birth location. Once you have that information, click on the link in the description below. This will bring you to a chart generator. And once you're there, input all of your birth information. Next, select the chart drawing ascendant option. This will bring you to your chart, which will look something like this. <laughs> Once you're there, you want to look for the symbol that looks like a person with their arms up. I swear that's what it looks like. Here's the symbol for Neptune. So look around your chart until you find that symbol. Once you've found it, look for the tiny little number near the center of the triangle that the Neptune symbol falls in. This number is the house of your Neptune. In this chart, you'll see that Neptune is in the 8th house, but in your chart, it could be any house 1 through 12. So with Neptune in the 3rd house, the dreamy, spiritual quality of Neptune is brought into the mind. You could really find someone who is truly a daydreamer, who is constantly in their own head thinking up different dreams and thinking up all these sort of creative inspirations. In the highest sense, Neptune in the third house could bring somebody who is actually claircognizant, somebody whose mind is actually attuned to a higher spiritual energy, someone through whom a <clears throat> It could be someone who can actually channel through divine insights. In a lower sense, Neptune in the third house could bring somebody who is really gullible because Neptune is about illusions and Neptune can make it difficult to discern what is fantasy and what is reality. So someone with Neptune in the third house could find that they have a challenging time determining what is is really true. The third house is about kind of common knowledge and it's about the things that people talk about every single day and that our community is discussing and even things that are discussed on the internet. Someone with Neptune in the third house might believe things that are written in the tabloids or they could have a really hard time figuring out if conspiracy theories are true or not. And if you have Neptune in the third house, you definitely want to fact check. Don't just believe things that people tell you. You'll probably want to believe that everything that you hear is true, but don't let yourself believe that. When somebody gives you a fact or a statistic or even somebody tells you information sort of secondhand, you want to check to be sure that it's true. Because otherwise, you could find yourself believing in something that is really just fantasy. And that's never fun. You know, you never want to be that person that is being made fun of because you believe something or you got tricked into believing something that isn't true. Since Neptune rules spirituality in the third house is about basic knowledge, Having Neptune in the third house could bring somebody who has a good grasp on spiritual understandings. You could find that you are somebody who just gets it, right? You just kind of understand. Maybe somebody presents to you some spiritual facts and you're just kind of a sponge. You're like, yeah, I get it. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. You could really learn and you could really pick up on spiritual concepts very, very quickly. You could also be a very, very good teacher of basic spiritual knowledge. You would be excellent at teaching the principles of meditation in a way that is easy for people to understand if they're just starting their spiritual journey. You could also be a very good spiritual teacher for children. You could help to impart spiritual ideas or even be like an art teacher for kids or to teach kids creativity, to teach them music, to teach them spirituality, all of the above. On the flip side, Neptune in the third house could 
mean that you could fall prey to overly simplistic spiritual concepts. Maybe you watch a video or a talk on the law of attraction and maybe you just soak that up like a sponge and you're like, yeah, this is it. This is everything. This is my spiritual path. I'm just gonna focus on feeling what I want to experience and it's just gonna come right into my life. So you could be susceptible to an oversimplification of spirituality and in reality, our spiritual journey, our soul journey, our journey to the truth is usually pretty complex. It usually <laughs> involves lots of ups and downs. It usually involves hard lessons. It usually is pretty twisty turny and it's not really that simple. In fact, like fully awakening or coming to be enlightened, it can often be the most difficult aspect of anybody's existence, right? In a way, that's why we're all here. So if you find, you know, a spiritual guru or a spiritual teacher is telling you, it's just simple, you know, just believe this or that, really question, really look around and see, okay, what are the results of people who are following this spiritual teacher or what are the results of people who are following this spiritual path? Is this really true? Is this really working? The third house is also about our siblings and our neighbors and those that live in our immediate environment. You could find yourself really drawn to wanting to live in a community of artists or a spiritual community. You could also find that you have a very close neighbor or you have a sibling who is very Neptunian, who is very dreamy or very spiritual or very artistic. The third house is also the house of transportation and how we get around. And with Neptune in the third house, this could make somebody who is able to sort of dream up innovations in transportation or innovations in communication technology. This could also produce somebody who is able to astral travel or who is able to project their consciousness somewhere else. It could bring a gift for that if you really channel it. You could use that spiritual energy to travel and to see different times and places. Another thing that can be shown in the third house are skills that we have with our hands. So with Neptune in the third house, you could have a gift for some sort of artistic expression or spiritual expression that relies on your hands. So for example, you could be wonderful at shamanic drumming because you can channel that spiritual energy through your hands or you could be a wonderful, wonderful painter or teacher of painting or really anything you can imagine, any artistic expression that you can imagine that involves your hands, even like playing guitar or playing harp or most musical instruments, you could really have a gift for that with Neptune in your third house. On a spiritual perspective, that could give you the ability to actually do hands-on healing, like with Reiki, or to use the pendulum, or you could be gifted at using oracle cards or tarot cards, because that's something that really, really relies on channeling divine energies through your hands. If you've never tried anything artistic or spiritual that involves using your hands, you really should try because you probably have a gift. Neptune can create a fog that makes it really difficult to see things clearly. So with Neptune in the third house, this could make communications very confusing at times. You could receive an email or a message from somebody and really just not be able to understand what that person really meant. And this can be kind of dangerous because with Neptune in the third house, you could build up this idea or this dream of what the person was trying to say to you when in reality, what they actually meant could be something really different. So I can imagine with Neptune in the third house, you might think that somebody is say, for example, insulting you when they really aren't. Or you could build up this dream of somebody who's in love with you because of what they said to you, when in reality, maybe they were just being really nice. I think it's important to ask people if what you heard or what you read is really what they meant. Don't make assumptions about somebody's Instagram post or somebody's Facebook post, or just don't make assumptions based on facts that you've heard or read or seen from somebody 
really ask to confirm that what you understood is their interpretation of reality. With this placement, you constantly need to do reality checking and say, okay, this is what I see. Is this what you see? Is my reality aligned with your reality? My mental understanding, is it aligned with yours? The third house also rules our childhood education like our education specifically from age 3 to about age 14 or 15. So with Neptune in the third house, you might have actually went to a religious school or a school for creative arts. That's one possibility. With Neptune in the third house, you could also have found just an emphasis on spirituality or creativity in your early upbringing or it could be that you actually have a misunderstanding about what was really going on in your early childhood education. So, for example, you may not have a super clear memory of what you learned in elementary school or what you learned in middle school. Maybe you were in a dreamlike state while you were in school and then once it ended you just kind of thought, what happened there? <laughs> what happened there? This could also make it difficult to see your childhood friends clearly. You could have been deceived when you were young and you were in school. You know, maybe you thought somebody was really your friend because what they said to you and the way they spoke to you, it seemed really nice, but then you found out that they were speaking about you behind your back or something like that. That could really happen with Neptune in the third house because, you know, Neptune is a beautiful, beautiful planet and it really gives us just an amazing uh, dream-like sense, you know, with our life, which is really wonderful. But sometimes Neptune can make us see the best in other people when they aren't actually being their best, okay? The third house is also about our small talk and our day-to-day -day communications. So with Neptune in the third house, you could be someone who always wants to talk about the unseen world. Neptune is all about the unseen world, things that can't be seen, spiritual, mystical things that maybe can't be fully proven, <laughs> the invisible realms. You might find yourself wanting to talk about the invisible realms all the time. And really, if you do identify with that, then please know that with Neptune in the third house, you could make a very, very good teacher or a very, very good writer, especially of spirituality, of art. Like if you love talking about those things, then by all means, make that your profession if you can, or make it a supplement to your profession because even though not everybody, especially very scientific, very grounded types, even though they may not really believe what you're saying or they may not really choose to understand it, with Neptune in the third house, you are here to communicate the dream. You are here to communicate and to build upon the thought and the common knowledge of spirituality, creativity, and the divine. So if people don't always believe what you're saying, that's okay. Once you have clarified your own connection, then feel free to share it with others because you could be the spark for somebody else's awakening. I think that's really likely and that could happen through talking about what you know spiritually or even asking really thoughtful questions of others that really get them we really get them sort of thinking about something more. Neptune shows where oneness is possible in our lives and when you put Neptune in the third house, this means that you could really be able to tap into the collective understanding of what your community really is thinking and feeling. This could also make you telepathic as well. So yeah, overall, I think that Neptune in the third house is a really cool placement. You do need to be mindful that you're not being deceived. You do need to be mindful that the way that you think is probably not the same as the way that other people are thinking. You probably are thinking in a really creative, in a really dreamy, in a really spiritual way. But that's actually a really Really good thing, especially at this time in society when many people are overly focused on logic. But just be mindful 
that you are in touch with that greater dream and that your thoughts are colored by that creative spiritual energy. And once you realize that that's how you are and you bring that forth and make it an asset in your life, in your relationships, and in your career, that's when you will really thrive. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching this Neptune series video. If you like this video, you can come back any Tuesday or Friday for brand new videos on this channel. And I just hope that you all have an amazing, amazing day. Thank you again and namaste.